So one more time. Quiz tomorrow, possibly. Yep. We are in unit five, still? It's been a long unit. Yeah, unit five. Still doing systems. Maddie, help seven. me. Day seven. Math magic. And today is tougher math magic. So far, everything that we have done has been perfect. What I mean by that is our x's have lined up, our y's have lined up, our constants have lined up. Right? That's how we know it's in standard form. Then we've either had x's or our y's that have the same exact coefficient. Okay, the coefficient we know is the number in front. Yes, we're all with me? Just like the warm-up, we had 2x, we had 2x. We knew that we were either able to add or subtract. Well, today it gets a little bit different. Because... There we go. We might have something that looks like this. x plus y equals 3, and 2x minus 3y equals 60. And just like our warm-up, I'm going to tell you to solve it any way that you'd like. By what we know, I could tell you that this is in standard form. How do we know? Coefficient variable, coefficient variable, constant. Coefficient variable, coefficient variable, constant. X, Y, and our constant. Yes? Those are in standard form. The problem comes in right now saying, do my X's match up? Am I able to eliminate my X's? Well, no, they're not the same number. Am I able to eliminate the Y's? No, they're not the same number. So here's where the magic comes in. Okay? We've been making things disappear already, but now when we look at this, mathematicians long time ago, well before our time, said, you know what? If I do something to the entire equation, it will actually stay the same. Okay? What I mean by that is, how can I get either x or y to be the same as this x or this y? So, I'm going to end up having to multiply. Notice how I put a parenthesis around the entire equation. When we have parentheses, we're going to be distributing. What do I need to distribute to this equation to get the x to match up with this x? What do I have to multiply this one by to get two x's? What do you think, B? One. So 1 times x is going to give me 1. What do I need to multiply this x by to get 2, though? 2. By 2. Okay, so now watch. I'm going to distribute. I'm going to distribute. I'm going to distribute. The biggest mistake that I see are people forgetting to distribute to the constant. We should be copying this down. Hmm? From here, you need to rewrite both. So I, if the equation starts off in the top, it has to stay in the top. 2 multiplied by x is 2x. 2 multiplied by y is positive 2y. Equals 2 multiplied by 3 is positive 6. Even though it does not look the same, the equation is the same because we multiplied it by everything. It's manipulating an equation, and we are allowed to do that as long as we change every single thing by the same value. Did we touch this bottom equation? No. So it comes on over. 2x minus 3y equals 16. Let me make this a little bit smaller. 
Do we have now a system that we can eliminate a variable on? Which variable can we eliminate in that second system? The two x's. So we have an x, we have an x. They now have the same coefficient. Mason, when they're exactly the same, positive 2 and positive 2, do we add or do we subtract? How, yeah, because to eliminate 2x and 2x, we have to subtract. I am now done with my original equations. These are the equations that I'm dealing with. Everybody with me still? 2x is minus 2x is a 0. 2 minus a negative 3. This is, comes back to that adding and subtracting. 2 minus a negative is positive, and it's going to give me positive 5y. 6 minus 16 is negative 10. We're still solving. The only difference today was having to multiply in order to get the equations to be ready to eliminate. From this point, we start to isolate the variable y. Caleb, how do I isolate y? What do I need to do to get 5y with just the y by itself? So what operation is 5y? Is that addition? Is it subtraction? Is it multiplication? Is it division? If I have a number smack dab next to a variable. OK, so what's the inverse of multiplication? There you go. So we're going to divide by, by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, 1y. One negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2. Now that I have this, can we substitute it in? Absolutely. I'm going to choose the equation that's got my positives. So I've got 2x <coughs> plus 2y equals 6. Can we see all this? Yeah, kind of. OK? We're substituting in for y, so 2x plus 2 my y is negative 2 equals 6. That's negative 4. So now I have 2x minus 4 equals 6. Add 4. 2x equals 10. I divide. x equals 5. Am I done there? Sammy, why not? Have to put it in an ordered pair. 5, comma, negative 2. Make sure you have that. Questions, because really, what was the only difference was this multiplication. That's the only difference was saying, I need to multiply this equation so that I can get something to eliminate. Bless you. So as some of you are copying that down, I'm going to put another problem on the board. Just copy down the problem. Don't do anything else after that. Is there anybody who's still copying this down? I don't want to erase it until we're done. Are we good with this problem? I want you to have this as part of your examples. Good. Okay. okay, so let's take a look. This problem now says 3x minus 2y equals 4, 2x plus y equals 5. Here's my question, Mason. Is it in standard form? Do we have x, y, and a constant? Yes. Okay. 
x, y constant, x, y constant. We're going to use elimination, right, Maddie? Yep. Yep. Can you even see me? Yeah. There you are. Okay. <clears throat> Do my x's match up perfectly? Are the coefficients the same, Alyssa, in my x's? No. No, because they're 3 and 2. That's not the same. What about my coefficients in my y's? Brooklyn, are my coefficients in my y's the same? No, because we have 2 and this invisible 1. Hmm. So we have to multiply something. Well, which equation do we have to multiply, Gracie? Am I going to be multiplying the top equation? Or am I going to be multiplying the bottom equation? OK, so if I multiply the top by anything, am I going to be able to match it up with this? No, so we're going to have to end up multiplying the bottom. OK? But we don't know what yet. Bless you. So here's my question to you. OK, listen, you ready? Can I multiply 2 by something to get 3? Well, I can by 1 and a half. Anybody want to multiply by 1 and a half and get fractions and decimals? Not me either. Is there something we can multiply the y by, though, to get 2? We always want to look for the easiest cho choice of multiplication. I know something times y can give me 2. What's that going to be, David? 2. So again, our step is to rewrite all of them. So my top one stays 3x minus 2y equals 4. What do I have to do to the bottom equation? What do I need to do now? Say it again. Multiply. 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times positive 2y is positive 2y. 2 times positive 5 is 10. Notice, and again, I can't stress this enough, the biggest mistake that I see is most of us will distribute to the x and the y and forget to take it to the constant. You have to multiply it to the constant as well. So now we have x, y's constants. They're still in standard form. Which variables, Ms. Dingus, are able to get eliminated? The x's, the y's. Which ones? Um, the y's. Because our coefficients are the same. We have a negative 2, a positive 2. Do we want to add or subtract? Add. Add. When the signs are different, we add. 3x plus 4x is 7x. This is the part that you guys know how to do. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. 4 plus 10 is 14. Solve. x then equals 2. Woo-woo! Pretty easy. Choose one. I'm going to choose the one that doesn't have negatives. 4x plus 2y equals 10. My x is 2, so I substitute my x in with 2. And I solve my equation. That gives me 8 plus 2y equals 10. Subtract 8 because it's a positive 8. So the inverse of positive 8 is subtracting 8. 2y equals 2, divide by 2y equals 1. Am I done? Well, absolutely not. We know that when we solve systems, they have to be in what, Peyton? What do our answers have to be? Pairs. What kind of pair? Starts with an O. Gracie, just trying to give you the answer. I found Whisper it to her. Ordered pairs. Ordered pairs. Ordered pairs are always x comma y. Questions on this one? Okay, you're going to try one on your own. And when I say on your own, use the people around you. So if you need help from the people around you, that's fine. Let's go. 4x minus 3y equals 12 x plus 2y equals 14. Go. So the only difference is we're going to end up having to multiply something. Most of you have got the process down. It's just trying to figure out, hmm, how do I manipulate one of those equations so that I can eliminate
So far, you're good. But it wouldn't be five away. Negative three, taking away another. Okay. What did I do wrong then? If you, if you owe me three dollars and you owe me eight more, how many dollars do you owe me? This is why we use these rules. Look up there, they're the same size or different size. Okay, so here we go. And I got this question, and this is what I expected. Mr. H, I don't know what to multiply by. I said, okay. We know that the smaller numbers are going to have to match up with the bigger numbers. So I'm going to put my parentheses around the smaller coefficient with the x and the y. And here's the question that I asked. Can I multiply 2 by a whole number to get 3? And Caleb immediately said, no. He goes, can't do that. I said, can we multiply something by x to get me 4? And I'm not picking on anybody, but the group said 2. I said, okay, what is 2 times x? And they said 2x. I said, so is that 4? I went, oh, no. So what do we have to multiply this by to get 4x's? Four four. By 4. From here, we rewrite the whole thing. We didn't touch the top equation, but we're absolutely manipulating the bottom one. 4 multiplied by x is 4x. 4 multiplied by positive 2y is positive 8y. You have to multiply to the constant. I can't stress that enough. That's where a lot of students make a mistake. 4 multiplied by 14 is going to give me positive 56. Now, we're here. Our x's with the coefficients are the same. If they're exactly the same with the same sign, we have to subtract. 
4 minus 4 is 0. Negative 3 minus 8. Well, I'm going to come over here. Negative 3 minus 8. The rules I gave you the other day, we circle the terms. Are they the same signs or different signs? Same. They're both negative. So we forget the signs and we add them. So that gives me 11. Then we put the original sign back with it, which is a negative 11. Why? Because it's negative 3 minus 8 equals 12 minus 56 is negative 44. Now we have our equation that we can solve. I divide by negative 11. I divide by negative 11. That gives me y equals positive 4. Okay? I'm going to substitute it into the positives, even though these are smaller numbers. So now I have 4x plus 8y equals 56. So my y is what I'm substituting in for. Solve the equation. That's 32. So now I have 4x plus 32 equals 56. I subtract 32 from both sides. That gives me 4x equals 24. I divide by 4. X equals 6. So close to being done. Peyton, pick it on you now. What do we have to put it in? There you go. Got it this time. An ordered pair. Our answer is an ordered pair of 6, comma, 4. Questions? Again, there is a good chance that you will have a quiz tomorrow. It might not include these. Probably not. We might practice these more on Monday. But you'll probably have a quiz tomorrow just on regular elimination without multiplying. Review the multiplication on Monday. And then we'll probably plan on testing systems on Wednesday. Or not Wednesday. Because we have school on Tuesday. We don't have school on Monday. So probably on Friday. Because our week next week is a little screwed up. Okay, so we will have a test next week.